Hello change checkers and welcome back to your latest newsletter and what a month it's been in the numismatic world. That's right, we've got some fantastic coins to discuss as well as an updated scarcity index. But before we get started, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn your notifications on so that you never miss a video from us. And if you're watching on Facebook or Instagram, be sure to give us a like. Don't forget you can listen to our main newsletter on the go wherever and whenever you are with the Change Checker podcast, available now across all major streaming platforms. So I think it's time we should get started. I'm Rachel. I'm Alex, and this is your Change Checker newsletter for May. So at the beginning of the month, we had a very exciting new 50p coin released. And of course, this was celebrating the father of television, John Logie Baird. I think it's a fantastic coin. Of course, it is the new one in the Innovation Science series. But of course, we saw this in the 2021 annual coin set. So some lucky collectors out there might already have the version of this coin that was released in the set. We now see the individual release, which is always really exciting. Of course, John Logie Baird was the first person to successfully produce moving televised objects and recognize human faces in 1925, which is actually incredible when you think about it. And could you imagine a world nowadays without television? <laughs> no, definitely not. I think we've very much become dependent on them, haven't we, in the last year? So I just think it's amazing that we've now got John Lakey Baird joining an incredible series of innovators in science that, of course, have brought us the 2019 Stephen Hawking 50p that really did hit the headlines. And I know collectors are going crazy for this 50p. And of course, we also have that 2020 Rosalind Franklin 50p, which is just amazing. That was celebrating 100, what would have been her 100th birthday. So how amazing that John Lakey Baird now joins this amazing innovators in science series. But actually, you know, there are some coins that sit outside of that series that have celebrated some incredible innovators in the technological world and the science world. Of course, we've got that 2001 wireless transmission two pound, the 2004 steam locomotive two pound, and of course, those 2006 Brunel two pound coins. So some really impressive innovators celebrated on our UK coins. Yeah, you're right, Alex. And I think it's just amazing, you know, when you look at our UK coins, you can see the science that has really spanned across generations and really, I think, built Britain as a country. Some really important um, historic anniversaries to celebrate there and loads of science facts that you can actually learn on those coins too. Alex has actually put together a video all about the science facts you can learn on coins. So make sure that if, if you haven't watched it already, you go check it out on YouTube now. But I think it's a really great addition to add the John Logie Baird 50p to the Innovation Science series. Like Alex said, we've got the Stephen Hawking and the Rosalind Franklin 50p already in those series. But Alex, have you got a favourite out of the three? Oh, that is a tough question. I think there's a benefit to the Stephen Hawking 50p in the sense that it did kickstart the series. And I mean, what an impressive innovator to have on a coin. But I really love the story behind Rosalind Franklin 50p because, you know, a lot of her work wasn't celebrated really until after her death. So it's really nice that we get to see her celebrated now on a UK coin. But what a about you, what's your favourite? Yeah, I think you're right. The story behind Rosalind Franklin is amazing, but for me, it has got to be the Stephen Hawking 50p. It's amazing that's where the series started and the fact that he's actually only one of three people in history to be celebrated on a coin within a year of his death. So I think that's another amazing story to, um, to celebrate this coin and to celebrate Stephen Hawking as one of our UK's innovator in science. Um, so a really great series. If you haven't already got your hands on the coin, you can do so now in brilliant and circulated quality for just £4.50 plus p and P. We've got the link on screen now in the description box below as well if you want to do so. So we were really, really excited by the news at the start of the month that a brand new £5 coin would be released celebrating the mod rock legends that are The Who. And the great news is that the brand new £5 coin has just been released. Of course, The Who are amongst the most popular and influential bands of the 60s and 70s, and they were really key to defining the mod genre in Britain. So I think it's only right that they should be celebrated on this brand new £5 coin. Exactly. So this brand new £5 coin has been designed by Henry Gray and it includes a union flag, mod logo, guitar with a Tommy inspired pinball table. Now, for those of you that aren't sure where the Tommy inspiration comes from, Tommy was actually the name of their fourth studio album and it's actually a rock opera that tells the story of Tommy Walker, a deaf, dumb and blind boy who includes his experience with life and his relationship with his family. So a really key moment for them in their career. And it's just amazing that we've now got that on our brand new £5 coin. Yeah, it's incredible that they've actually managed to encapsulate 
all of that is of Tommy and the Who and we've managed to recreate that on a five pound coin. I think there's so much to this design. Of course, like you say, Alex, the Who really did originate the rock operas genre in Britain. So I think it's amazing they are celebrated. And of course they are in the UK's new Music Legends five pound series, which is a really fantastic series celebrating some of Britain's most influential artists. Of course, we've already seen uh, the likes of Bowie, Elton John, Queen in the series. So really fantastic that the Who have now been added to the list. In fact, I'm sure it's going to prove a real hit with collectors worldwide as well as here in the UK. So to secure yours, make sure that you follow the link on screen now or in the description box below. So earlier this month, we were so, so excited because the final coin in the Mr. Men and Little Miss Five Pound series was issued celebrating Little Miss Sunshine. Now, obviously this coin does depict a design of the happiest and kindest characters in all of Dillydale, Little Miss Sunshine. And I really think that Adam Hargreaves' design of Little Miss Sunshine really does feature the cheerful character's personality right in the forefront with the charming meadows of Dillydale behind. I think this might actually be my favorite from the series, but what about you, Rachel? Yeah, I'm going to agree with you on that one, Alex. I think this one is just such a stunning design. It's very cute and very re reminiscent of my childhood. I used to sit up and read these books every single night, so I am a huge fan of the series. Of course, the series is celebrating 50 years of fun, which is absolutely amazing. And as of 2015, there were actually 30 of these books with over 85 Mr. Men and Little Miss characters featuring in the series. So that is absolutely incredible. And now, even more amazing, we have three of them featured on UK Coins for the very first time. So the series is now available to own as a whole, which is fantastic. You can complete the series yourself um, and get your hands on these amazing new coins. If you want to secure yours in brilliant and circulated quality for just 10 99 plus P, P each. You can do so by clicking the link in the description or on screen now. So earlier this month, we were really excited to be back with one of our very favorite videos. It was, of course, a 50p coin hunt, and it was Alex's very first time as well doing a coin hunt. So we had a lot of fun. We went head to head to see who could score the highest points using Christopher Collect's scoring system. And we discovered some really incredible commemorative coin designs along the way. We really did. So Rachel actually won this coin hunt with an amazing score of 90. And you found a couple of 2017 Royal Shields, didn't you? So really great finds there. I mean, I know I didn't win, but I did get a 64. And I actually found several of those Benjamin Britten 50 piece, which were both five points each. So, you know, nothing to moan about there, but I'm really, really impressed. Obviously the big winners are those of you that correctly identified the winner and their winning score. So huge congrats goes to you and well done on winning a brand new John Lakey Bear. 50p so you'll be receiving this brand new coin in brilliant and circulated quality so what an amazing prize to win yeah absolutely fantastic and well done alex you know 64 definitely isn't that and you even found a territory coin as well maybe even two so yeah you did really well for a first time coin hunt and you never know you might beat me next time so we'll have to have a look out for when we can next fit in another coin hunt let us know if you like watching those videos because of course we'd love to make more of them for you we absolutely love doing it it is a lot of fun so let us know in the comments below This month we updated our scarcity index and as we've been finally able to go out and about a little bit more and start spending some cash, it's been really interesting to see that we have seen some movement and how this has impacted the scarcity index. So there's definitely been a lot of movement across all of the indexes and we're not gonna reveal too much for you just yet. But if you wanna find out more about it, you can head over to the scarcity index and see where 110p has moved a really impressive 16 places, definitely making it one to watch. Definitely, that's a big mover, isn't it? But there are also two other 10p coins that dropped 10 and 13 places respectfully, and 150p has climbed up by 10 places. So there definitely has been lots of updates kind of across the board and definitely some big key changes. But like you say, Rachel, as we do continue to spend more cash out and about, we're finally being able to exchange coins. I'm so excited by it. I'm sure you all are too. It'll be really interesting to see how this plays out over the next coming scarcity and next update. So if you are interested in finding out more, finding out how sought after your coins are that you've got in your collection, we've left a link to our latest scarcity index in the description box below. So make sure you head to our blog.
Well, earlier this month, news articles were reporting of a supposed error on the brand new HG Wells £2 coin. So Change Checker did explore this a little bit further to try and give you guys a bit of insight. Now, of course, we know that this coin was issued as part of the 2021 UK commemorative coin set, and it celebrates the 75th anniversary of the death of science fiction novelist HG Wells. That's right. So remember, guys, this is a bimetallic £2 coin. So that means it's made up of a combination of a silver coloured Cooper nickel disc in the middle and then around the edge there's that yellow colored nickel brass ring but with the case of this hg wells two pound coin however it appears that the blank that was used has a thicker yellow ring than expected it's much wider than what you'd see on your normal two pound coins so it definitely caught the eye of the lucky collector who came across this one so whilst there's been estimations that this coin could potentially fetch up to a thousand pounds on the secondary market it's definitely worth noting that the raw mint are yet to confirm that this is a genuine rarity and that is the all-important seal of approval it certainly is. So I will be eagerly awaiting that confirmation from the Royal Mint. But in the meantime, we have put together a blog detailing more about this coins and other £2 supposed errors that you should be looking out for in your change and helping you determine if your £2 coin is a genuine rarity or not. So we've left a link to it in the description box below. So make sure you check it out and find out if you have any of these coins in your change. Well, change checkers, it's been another really exciting month in the world of numismatics. Let us know in the comments below what your favourite part of the newsletter has been and whether you've added any of these coins that we've spoken about today to your collections and don't forget you can listen to the change checker podcast on the go which is available across all major streaming platforms exactly and make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel turn your notifications on so that you never miss our latest uploads and if you're watching on facebook or igtv be sure to give us a like so that we know that you like these types of videos and you want to see more like them otherwise we'll catch up with you all next month where we will be reporting on all of the numismatic news from the month of june